Hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Disco Kitty, the Crappy Crafter. Today, we're going to be working with a needle felting box. This comes from Craft Kitsune. It's one of two craft kits during the course of a year that is not resin based. I'm very excited. I have needle cra or, uh, needle felted in the past and I'm excited to see what's in the kit. So uh, let's get into it. Alright, let's get right into the box. Here is the pamphlet and now for the box. It comes with a pretty decent instruction book, I gotta say. Lots and lots of good instructions. This is a three needle needle poker thing. I don't know what they're called. Lots and lots of spare needles. I love that. So many spare needles. These are leather finger cots that actually fit on my big fat fingers. Very happy. Eyes. More eyes, more eyes, colored eyes. These are cute. Even more eyes. There are three different sizes of the black ones, one size of the colored ones. This is a single needle tool. All the spare needles. The needles come in different sizes and this is the paw print stencil lots of clasps and straight pins and things and little bells because you know it's it's kind of cat themed animal themed we'll say that and people like bells i like bells but not while i'm out and about in public stabby foam lots and lots of different colors of wool very pretty A little foam block. Now measure out an eight inch strand and uh, I need scissors. So I'm gonna get scissors out of a kit that I bought a while ago, last year or two years ago. I've had it for a while and I've only used it once. But at the end I'm gonna put all the stuff from this kit into that kit and eventually I'll make more needle felted stuff because it is nice. It is, it can be very relaxing. You definitely have to pay attention to what you're doing though. It's something you can listen to music to, but it's, it's not something that I can listen to like something on television, nothing visual because I need to keep my eyes focused on what I'm doing. And those scissors were not very sharp. <laughs> eh, cheap, cheap scissors. What are you going to do? All right, so we're gonna start with the three needle tool. I even have a six needle tool in the other kit, but this piece was a little small to use with that. I do try at one point, I don't have it videoed, but I do try and it, it just keeps getting stuck in it. There's just too many needles, it didn't work. But this worked really well. So much stabbing. It really does let your aggressions out. So much stabbing. Stabby, 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 stabby. Flash forward a little bit. It's been mostly felted. I'm trying to keep it relatively flat. The more you stab it, the more dense and the smaller it will become. And I really wanted to stab it more, but my arm was burning by this point. I have chosen my colors. Obviously, I'm not going with the black and pink paw that is in the booklet. I'm doing a calico. And it's going to have one brown spot and one black spot on either side, and then I will put little toesies on one side. I use the needle to kind of tease the strands into place and 
pull them where I want them and then stab them straight down in. The way it works is the needles have little barbs on them and the barbs help the wool to tangle with each other and not with each other. And that's how it's, that's, that's how it's done. Just lots and lots and lots of stabbing. Now we're going to go in for the little toe beans and the, the pad and we're going to use this felt stencil to do that and we're just going to get small pieces of wool and we'll ball them up and stuff them into the toes and then stabby stabby stabby. Let's get in real close to see what I'm doing. You see I'm kind of pulling it in and I, as I pull it into the shape that I want, I also stab any little loose pieces that I find. I wanted one of the, the beans or pads to be marbled because, you know, sometimes they are. Multicolored beans. Take the stencil off carefully and then we will really stab these shapes right in so they don't come off. And I realize here that I probably want to really get the edges of the pads done properly with the single needle. The single needle is really good for fine details. Next up, we'll make some spaces between the toe beans, or try to anyways. Eventually, I will take one needle out of the three needle tool, and I will use the two of them together that are left to uh, make some spaces between the toe beans. Not a lot of space because, like I said, I'm lazy, and this took 45 minutes-ish as it was. But look at how cute it is. The pink is a little bit light, but I like it. Now we're going to put something on it so that I can put it on a keychain. I'm not going to use one of the bells because, yeah. Use the single needle tool to make a hole. Stab it in. And it will work, kind of. My other kit actually has a small uh, needle nose tire, um, needle nosed pliers. They, they might be round nose, I don't remember. It's way over there and I don't want to look because I'm lazy. E6000 glue came with another kit, but I don't remember what kit it was. I don't even remember what brand kit it was. Or I could have gotten it at work, but I don't think I have that brand. Eh. These rings were really weird because they look like split rings, 
but they're not. I mean, the ring overlaps, which is nice, so it'll be harder to fall off, but the metal seemed really, really soft. Like, I feel it's going to open up again at some point. We'll see. I really like the split rings that came in the cloud box. Those were nice, but they would have been a little big for this. And look at how cute it is. I love it. Well, that came out really cute. Here's my paw. I know I went with the simplest project I could because I'm lazy. And needle felting takes a really long time. I mean, this wasn't too bad. This was like 45 minutes worth of work or so. I don't know. I'll figure it out when I download the videos. And I'll put a little thing here that says how long it took me. But, um, yeah. I haven't needle felted in a few years. Um, it's been at least three or four. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend getting into needle felting yourself. Um, it is a hazard to the fingers. Luckily, I didn't stab myself. I almost stabbed myself twice, but I didn't stab myself. And yes, I know that that came with the little leather finger cuts, but I like to be able to feel what I'm doing. So I have a hard time using those. I haven't, I've, I've tried using them before and I, it's just something you have to get used to and I haven't gotten used to it yet. But if you want to see me do more needle felting, leave a comment in the, the, the comments. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. I had a lot of fun doing this. I highly recommend you do it too. Uh, there are a lot of great kits on Amazon as well as other places for beginners. So, um, yeah. Until next week, stay safe. Oh, mm. It's just a little girl. Mm, she's so little. Show them your pretty face. Show, no. Oh. Oh, my Abby cat. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yep. This is a thing. Mm hmm. Can I not have your butt in my face? Huh? Come on. Hey. Okay. Baby. This is my life. The life of every cat owner. <laughs>